Hello and welcome to this session of product design in value engine. In last session we have discussed about how to develop a product and what is product development cycle. In today's session we will discuss about different various challenges of product design and product development cycles. So what are the challenges of product development? To understand this first we must understand that what is the successful criteria of product development. Because when we are developing products, what we are mainly focusing on? We are mainly focusing on customer centric, post effective and quickly buildable products which can be easily reach out to market in very less time. So you have to work very fast and also concurrently. So let us discuss what are different challenges of this product development process. The first is Cost. Cost. When we talk about cost, we talk about the cost of producing the product and the cost of developing it as well. So your development cost should be less as well as your product producing manufacturing cost should also be less. There are many examples which uh, we can give where these different types of cost differs depending on the product. For example, if you are developing a product and you are using some casting methods then to develop the uh, product to uh, test out different products uh, to try various prototypes of casting will be high costly so developing cost would be high but to produce the casting products is uh, comparatively low cost process if you develop same product using machining processes then you can develop machining pro products with relatively less cost so you are developing for machining processes will be less but when you uh, manufacture it then manufacturing of single product for developing for uh, machining will be very high compared to casting because in casting for single product you have to manufacture dyes, patterns and then you have to cast it whereas in machining no such requirements is there but when you are mass products producing the products then the same dye which you have developed for your prototype will be used for thousands of products so the cost of production will be reduced the next challenge is the quality of the product so what is the concern about the quality uh, when we are manufacturing any product we want to ultimately sell it and quality is the confirmative uh, uh, the specifications from customers point of view so if your customer confirms that the product is acceptable that means your product is of good quality and if your product is not of good quality that means your customer does not confirm that this is the product I want or this is the quality I want and what will happen no customer will buy this product and ultimately all your production will be in waste the third concern is the product development time why because we want to give quickly uh, products to the customer because there will be competition and they also will be manufacturing the same kind of product so we don't want to give them an advantage in terms of market reachability so we want to minimize our product development time and this uh, concerns uh, market needs uh, to product sell so when a customer tells you that uh, I want this product from there to you are selling that product all this time the product development time should be reduced or it should be less but it is very hard to reduce this time because there will be many steps in the product development so this is a big challenge for product development then Another challenge is development know-how. What we mean by this is to, uh, the ability to repeat the process itself. So when you are developing a product, 
you should learn from it so that when you are developing the second product your product development time your cost and quality should be uh, uh, what we can say better than the previous cycle so your cost and time should be less and your quality should be high for your second third and fourth product compared to your first product why because you are learning on the way and if you are not learning from the process then you have to uh, uh, reinvent the wheel again and again which is not good in the long run and how to develop this uh, know how how to keep on learning is also a big challenge for the product development cycle now we talk about cost of product development so as we have discussed already there will be many things while we develop product and most of the time while in the development cycle we are uh, incurring only cost there will be no profit and the cost will vary depending on product to product uh, mostly the cost will be in research and in designing testing and prototyping all this will be a highly costly affair once you have developed the product then uh, set up of production for the product that is buying the machines that are necessary uh, renting the area for the factory uh, cost of levers and all these things will be a costly affairs that means you have to invest so much amount of money for all these processes and the sale also will be less in the initial phase so uh, for uh, uh, initial phase of your product development you will be only spending money and no revenues will be there so this is a big concern also cost of product development will vary depending on product to product for example for a for example for a, a pharmaceutical product uh, the product development time typically will be around 9 8 to 9 years or sometimes more than that and the cost will be in billions so uh, it depends how much cost will be there in product development depending on your product on the other hand if you talk about a toy then for that product uh, development cost will be very less and also this product development cost depends on the types of product for example if you are uh, Manufacturing some products which will be uh, used by thousands of people then you will obviously want to spend more time or spend more efforts in the designing and development phase but if you are developing a product for a single customer only which is a customized product and you have to make only one part of it then obviously you would not try to optimize everything you just want to finish the products which can be used easily or which met specification so if you are making some standardized products like cars or bikes then your product development cost and time will be very high because the volume of the product will be very high but if you are uh, uh, manufacturing some customized products then the volume will be very low and the cost will be low as well now as we have discussed the product cost will comprise of many things one is the actual production or the price the price is the uh, amount which a uh, customer is willing to pay but uh, while deciding this price there will be many factors fact, uh, factors which we need to consider there will be cost of product development there will be cost of manufacturing labor cost the cost of other auxiliaries the government taxes and all other things and apart from this there will be uh, some other external factors such as environmental uh, impact uh, scarcity of the raw materials you are using and all that and all these things will be considered in the cost matrix itself when we talk about product life cycle the cost 
variance as shown here. In the initial phase, when the design is in concept phase, we can easily change the design. But as we move forward in the product life cycle, as we are finalizing design and we are moving for, towards manufacturing, the change will get more and more difficult. So, the changing the product or some specification will become more and more difficult over the time. Meanwhile, if we talk about cost, then in initial phase, uh, we are uh, not uh, committing very much amount of cost. So, cost committing while we are in concept phase will be almost zero because we have not spent or we have not committed anything to make a particular product. But once the design is finalized, we know that what manufacturing processes will be used and what machines will be used. So, we have committed all the cost. But we have not spent that money. We have just planned to spend it. When we will spend it? When we start manufacturing. So, that is why this is the difference in cost, uh, cost committed, which will be high initially in design phase and then it will be uh, almost constant and the cost incurred that is cost actually spent or money actually spent so in the design phase though we have committed to the cost we have not spent we will spend in manufacturing so this is what this graph shows also this graph implicates that if you want to change the product the product development time is the best for changing it after that it will become very hard to change and if we talk about life cycle costing, then we would have to consider all the costs such as capital, lifetime operating cost, lifetime maintenance cost, then disposal cost and if there is any resale value, then this value also. And there are, uh, light, uh, lastly we will discuss about different types of products. So what are the different types of products? There will be market pool products. These products are the types of products which are demanded by the customers. So, customers are demanding these types of products. For example, uh, the camera which will, which had uh, the rolls and the capacity of which was only 30 or 36 photographs per roll. Now, we are using digital camera which can capture thousands of photographs. So, this uh, functionality were demanded by the customers. Then there will be some products which will be technology push products. So you have some technology and you decide to make a product out of it. For example, microwave. Someone discovered that the microwave can be used for generating heat. And then due to this technology is available, as this technology is available, someone built a product that we can, if we can uh, heat up some things, then we might uh, heat or or we might uh, cook our food with it. So these type of products are known as technology push products. Then there will be platform products. What are platform products? These products are based on some other products or built on some other products. For example, Walkman what we see is a platform product it is built uh, upon the idea of some other products with the walkman which people used to carry over their shoulder so this portable walkman is built on that idea then there will be process intensive product now process intensive products are the products uh, which uh, comprises very uh, various uh, types of processes which uses processes more than the production or manufacturing steps such uh, such as uh, this uh, car body which uses various type of processes for example some chemical industries manufacturing some products some chemicals then those are process intensive products uh, in which there is not uh, a single assembly or uh, more components coming together but it is manufactured by some process. Then there will be customized products. 
the customized products are the products manufactured according to specification of a single or multiple customers but which are in low volume so this will be produced according to given specification by customers for different customers for example some high end luxury cars or uh, if we talk about other applications then medical uh, prosthetics are customized products which will be manufactured uh, particularly for a single customer only then there will be some high risk products uh, in which the risk of failure is very high and factor of safety will be very low for example uh, if we are uh, sending some probes or uh, lunar object on moon moon then the robots or these props uh, we do not have the condition which there are on moon so we cannot uh, test those products very efficiently so the failure chances of these products are very high so these are known as high risk products and then there will be some complex products in which number of parts are very high and there will be many subsystems involved for a, example in aeroplane the number of parts will be thousands or millions and there will be many subsystems like uh, air pressure controlling systems flight uh, aviation controlling systems uh, the propellant systems fuel uh, supply systems and all those so these are very complex products and uh, designing or developing these products will be a very tedious and a very demanding task and then there will be lastly quick build products quick build products are the products which we can build very easily and we can iterate them very easily so we can test them very iteratively for example softwares for your mobile applications of your mobile or softwares for your pc operating system of the pc we can make change in the operating system of a pc very quickly if you have a operating system you can uh, try different things with it you can change two or five lines of code and you can test it very quickly very iteratively so these products are known as quick build 